Mattel's Batman Legacy line has only just started popping up in stores around here in the last week or so, so imagine my surprise when I stumbled across Wave 2 already on the pegs at Kmart. Which actually makes sense, as the version of the Golden Age Batman figure, which comes with Batmite as its accessory, is apparently a Kmart exclusive. At least, that's what the sticker on the bubble says, and why would a sticker lie to a person? Also in this wave is Catman. No, you heard right. Cat-man. He's actually a real C... D-list bat villain, and not an example of Comic-Con cosplay gone horribly awry. Rounding out the wave is a repaint of Barbara Gordon as Batgirl, in what I believe will be her post-relaunch colors. I already had a version of her, so I passed. The packaging for the Batman Legacy line is noticeably different from DC Universe Classics, and even Mattel's Green Lantern Classics spin-off. The principal color is a dark bluish purple, and a flap covers part of the unusually angled bubble. On one of the sides is a character portrait, and on the other is an image of the mini-poster included with the figure. Yeah. Another difference is that instead of a list of stats on the back of the card, there is only a brief character bio. Out of the package, these figures will be all too familiar to anyone who's bought any DCUC figures. In fact, I'm not entirely sure they both aren't just the same figure, with different capes, belts, and paint jobs. Batman's head is at least different from previous incarnations, with smaller ears and a friendly smile on his face. The body is pretty much 100% the same as the others, however, except that he sports the old-school bat symbol on his chest, which lacks the yellow oval. Really though, the big draw for this figure is the Batmite accessory. Children of the 70s who remember the Filmation Batman cartoon tend to view Batmite the same way children of the 80s view Snarf, a tiny bit of warm nostalgia mixed with a whole lot of burning hatred. The character got a big measure of redemption in his appearances on Batman Brave and the Bold, however, where he was voiced to lovably annoying perfection by Pee Wee Herman himself. Batmite is an entirely new sculpt, although the belt is a separate piece, and I suspect that the legs and torso could be repurposed down the road for a Mr. Mitzelplex. He lacks most of the standard DCUC points of articulation, with cut joints for his shoulders and hips. He does have one ball joint at the base of his creepy Golden Age head. Batman and Catman sport the same 18 points of standard Mattel articulation. Ball joint neck, ab crunch, ball shoulders, cut upper arms, pin elbows, cut wrists, them funky Mattel flange hips, pin knees, cut joints mid thighs, and pin ankles. Both look like they should have cut waists, but I couldn't get either to turn and I wasn't going to push it. So as for Catman, he's basically Batman, only orangier and cat. I'm not sold on the paint job they did on his eyes, but the 5 o'clock shadow comes out really well in person. Catsy comes with some claw weapons he can hold in his hands. Now, I'm not 100% sure which way he's supposed to hold them. This way seems the most likely, even though it still doesn't quite feel right. Even so, it looks better than this way. As I mentioned, the figures do come with mini posters. Yeah, and figure stands. The Golden Age characters come with stands made of gold-colored plastic, while the rest get silver. There's a bat logo on the top, and a sticker with the character's name on the front. Unfortunately, the pegs that go into the figure's feet are so stubby that they render the whole stand basically useless. I got these figures for around 16 bucks at my local Kmart, which, given the prices for DCUC elsewhere, isn't a bad deal. Batmite isn't mentioned at all on the bio on the back of Batman's card, and the other two figures didn't have the Kmart exclusive sticker, so I'm assuming if you want Batmite, Kmart is the place to look. While Catman may not be a household name, fans of Gail Simone's Secret Six will be happy to add him to the team, and Batmite certainly is a part of the Bat Legacy. A creepy, creepy part. So, where's my Alfred with Ace 2 pack? This has been David Draper for Toy World Order. See you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel.